In this video, I'd like to give you a very brief introduction to the software that we're developing here at the Bible Translators Assistant. The purpose of this software is to help translate the entire Bible into as many languages as possible. This is not a machine translation project. This is a natural language generator. And what distinguishes machine translation from natural language generation is the source text. Here, in this large window, is what we call a semantic representation of Daniel 1.1. And we manually develop these semantic representations. They include a lot of information. As you can see, all of the phrases are clearly marked, the propositions are marked, and then there are features below each word. Here are the features associated with each noun. Uh, for example, every noun is marked for number, and the possible values are singular, dual, trial, quadrial, plural, and pocal, because some languages morphologically distinguish each of those values. The propositions have many features, the verbs have many features, and so on. The concepts in our semantic representations are all semantically simple, and they're very precisely defined. For example, we have about 25 different senses of the verb to be. There's an existential sense, a locative sense, an attributive sense. This one happen, happens to be a social role sense. Over here is our grammar. There's a transfer grammar and a synthesizing grammar. The transfer grammar takes the semantic representations and restructures them in any way necessary in order to produce a new underlying representation that's appropriate for your particular target language. So the transfer grammar includes rules that generate grammatical relations from semantic roles. They handle all the relativization strategies. They handle the theta grid adjustments. If you're working in a clause chaining language, then you can write transfer rules that will build the clause chains. After the transfer grammar has produced a new underlying representation that consists of your target language's words and structures, the synthesizing grammar will synthesize the final surface forms. So there are agreement rules, are rules that provide the inflectional morphology, critic rules, are rules that put all the constituents in their proper order, rules to identify where pronouns should be used and their surface forms. Uh, morphophonemic rules, etc. And right now we're linked to a Korean lexicon and grammar, as you can see. I'll show you just one rule from the Korean grammar. Uh, here's the rule that provides all of the tense morphemes for Korean, past tense, present tense, future tense, etc. Now the purpose of this software is when we click the generate button, the software will take the semantic representation, plus your lexicon and grammar, and put all that information together and produce an initial draft translation. And we'll see the, the initial translation of Daniel 1.1 in Korean here in just a second. So here we are. So here's the translation of Daniel 1.1. Now I don't know how many of you read Korean well, so let's switch to another language. We'll switch to Tagalog. So the software's loading a Tagalog lexicon. And now you see Tagalog words down here. Now the semantic representation hasn't changed at all. Uh, that's, that stays the same when we switch from one language to another. I'll show you one example of a Tagalog rule. Uh, let's look at the rule that provides all of the, the case markers. They have quite a few case markers. So there's an example of a Tagalog rule. Now when we click the Generate button, the software will take the Tagalog lexicon and grammar and apply it, that to the semantic representation. And in just a moment here, we'll, we'll see the Tagalog translation of Daniel 1.1. 1, 1. Okay, there's the Tagalog translation of Daniel 1.1. 1, 1. I don't know how many of you speak Tagalog well, so let's switch to another language, a language that all of you who are watching this video speak well, and that's English. So it's loading an English lexicon, and we're still here at Daniel 1.1. 1, 1. Now you see English words down here. And I'll show you just one example of an English rule. Uh, let's look at the, the rule that inserts all of the pronouns. Here are all of the personal pronouns, the reflexive pronouns, the reciprocal pronoun, possessive pronouns, etc. And now when we click the Generate button, the software will take the English lexicon and grammar and produce an English translation of Daniel 1.1. A man named Nebuchadnezzar was the king of Babylon. Another man named Jehoiakim was the king of Judah. And Jehoiakim was the king of Judah for about three years. 
Nebuchadnezzar and his army went to Jerusalem. Then Nebuchadnezzar and his army attacked Jerusalem and defeated Jehoiakim and his army. That gives you a sense of the, the quality of the text produced by our software. Our software never produces the final translation. We always require mother tongue speakers to edit these texts to improve the naturalness, the information flow, choose better lexical items, and so on. But our, our software produces simple translations that are easily understandable, they're grammatically perfect, and they convey the same information, the same message as the original document. 